Hey, what's going on guys? It's Turex back with another video and today we have a uh, basically an overview of my SQL database in the works here. Um, it's basically set up for uh, running scripts automatically. Uh, it currently runs tutorial island scripts um, according to an enumeration that's tied to each account. So all an enumeration is basically um, s names tied to numbers. So for example, you have a name called ready for tutorial island which is assigned to number one and you have another one that's tutorial island done that's assigned to number two then you have ready to bot which is assigned to number three the list goes on and on and you have these enumerations so that you can basically assign them to each account so that the sql database knows what to do with them or my javascript knows or my java program knows what to do with it uh rather so we've got that done and it's automatically running through each of these accounts if you if you look at the top uh left where it says bots currently running that's basically my sql database checking on the uh that the database and seeing how many accounts are currently running so that it knows whether or not to start a new bot and uh, get the bot going with a new account it closed out there i don't know why i was probably doing something on my computer while i was recording this here but um yeah i just wanted to give you guys a little progress update i'm gonna go over the script and basically break it down for you guys and let you guys know how each little segment works and go into a little bit more depth and um in the next video we'll probably be doing some um implementation of maybe a, a gui so that i can start these scripts without having to manually edit the code uh i could just set a variable within the gui and have the accounts run a specific script and basically how many bots i want running concurrently so that it doesn't exceed that limit um but yeah let's i'm gonna go over like i said just go over the script let you guys know how it works and go into a little bit more depth on this uh script here and maybe it'll give you guys some insight maybe some some more information on understanding how this stuff works so uh we'll jump right into it. all right guys so what we have put up here is going to be my uh project this is the tribot farm that's the name of my project um so we're going to go over this information here within these folders i don't want to pull up the code because honestly majority of you guys probably don't understand code anyways and there is some compromising information to myself here and i don't want to include that in the video of course so we're just going to go over the folders and basically break it down for you guys so within captcha this handles all captcha functions so whenever a website needs captcha to uh create a post request or sign in or do anything like that then this account segment of the project here handles all that so this is all the information necessary to handle a captcha and inside of runescape website this is going to be create which creates accounts so that's that um we might add an unlock function in here later but we'll get to that in the future I don't want to go into too much depth because honestly I just kind of suck at explaining a lot of this shit and whenever I explain it you probably won't understand it unless you code also and a lot of you guys like I said probably don't understand code so I'm just going to go with the basic functions and let you guys know the uh, gist of it. So inside of the, the scripts folder I don't know why I haven't named scripts right now but I should probably I don't know anyways bot farm there's a checks which is a function or a class that checks running which is it's going to go into the bots here and it's going to check how many bots are in here actually so it's going to grab the basically the maximum amount of uh tables here or not tables but columns it's going to grab the maximum amount of columns and it's going to return that back to me so um if there's four accounts running it's going to return four back to me in the program so that's all that does um inside of we have initialize which is there's going to be probably a couple different scripts here this is probably where i'm gonna i'm gonna initialize all my scripts uh this m may change i don't know how exactly i'm gonna implement it i i mean the easiest way is probably gonna be creating a class for each script that i want to run or maybe within i'll just have an initialize class itself that will take information from the gui and then apply that information to the uh to the single initialize scripts class so 
say I want to run tutorial island I will define that within the GUI saying I want to run the script named tut island one two three whatever okay and then that information is then passed over to this class and it runs the script uh, necessary and then say I want to run Zolar scales whatever the fuck one two three then we will do that also it'll it'll apply it'll grab the information from the GUI then it'll apply the uh, information necessary to this initialize class and yeah so initialize tutorial island basically just initializes the tutorial island script when necessary so instead of initialize tutorial island we have a start account method which goes and it connects to the database um it pulls an account from the database where the account enumeration is set to ready for tutorial island and within my create account function, it automatically creates an account on RuneScape and it sets the account stage to ready for tut. So that's how that gets the ready for tut account stage. Um, once that's done, it returns an account. Then it goes back into the start account uh, method and it uh if the account does not equal null then it goes and it connects to the database and updates the account stage to doing tut after it updates the account stage to doing tut it will execute or open cmd and then run uh try bot with the arguments that are necessary so yeah okay and if the account is null, then it will, uh, cause if, if it doesn't have any accounts in the, if it doesn't have any accounts that are, uh, ready for tutorial Island enumeration, then that means that there's no accounts left in the, uh, there's no accounts left in the, uh, in the database, basically that's ready for tutorial Island. So that means we need to create more accounts. So, uh, we call the create account function or the create we call the create account class and we call the create function which takes in two variables which is going to be the total accounts that we want to create and then the amount of threads that we want to run so how quickly it will get this task done basically and then that goes and um continues to run and once it's done it'll basically come back to the script and it'll attempt to it'll go back to bot farm start then it'll check the amount of bots running if the bots running is less than four then it will grab a, an account so once that's all done it'll start botting again um so yeah so that's basically the gist of it that's all that you really need to know about this script so far uh that's what i've got done over these past few days uh or this past week i was sick for a couple days i didn't feel like fucking doing shit but i did get a lot of this done in actually like one day uh one or two days i'm not sure but got pretty far so f it, this is like the 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 base structure we can build out a lot off of this the next step is probably going to be implementing a gui or implementing proxies i don't know which one i want to do first but this is kind of how i break down my like process here i like i this is what i want to do this is like what i want to have so implementation of proxies i want three proxies per account i'm going to track the bot runtime inside the botting script push this data to the sql server when banned um so yeah we'll probably have like a a little runtime script that automatically updates every like 30 minutes or so or something like that if bots are getting banned in less than 12 hours then we need to replace the old proxies and remove the old proxies from the db so we'll probably have another like table created and it's going to be proxies and we're going to have proxy id we're going to have email and pass which is going to be the account that it's running on and then we'll probably add something like uh runtime the proxy or like how many accounts have been banned we'll have like a ban counter or something like that it, it, it just depends we'll figure that out along the way but that's probably going to be our next step that or a gui um i'll keep you guys updated and let you guys know how everything's going as usual i'll probably push out a video every week or so so i'll see you guys in the next video like i said subscribe uh like the video, leave comments on scripts that you would like to see me make, and um, turn on the post notifications if you want to see these videos first and get this information and basically 
be the first to be updated on the on the progress that i'm making but uh until my next video i would like to say thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one goodbye